Hello and welcome back to MTG Burgeoning, a huge channel for all things magic. In our video for today, we are going to unbox and reveal the contents of this secret layer drop. It's Culture Shocks, and this time, it's Jund. MTGBC, baby! You are the MTG Burgeoning community. Thank you again for coming to view this secret layer drop unboxing. Today it's Culture Shocks and it's Jun. So what we're going to find in the contents of this box, we are going to find three promo art shock lands that comprise the colors of Jund. So we're going to find a stomping ground, we're going to find a blood crypt, and we're going to find an overgrown tomb. Those are the three shock lands that comprise Jund colors. It's red, it's green, and it's black. In addition to those three Shocklands, of which the artwork are only seen in the Shocklands of this Culture Shock Secret Layer Drop series, there is one secret card attached to the bottom of the box. We know it's one of the War of the Spark Planeswalkers, we know it is foil, and we know it has the stained glass artwork, we just don't know which one it is, and with any kind of luck, or a lot of it, maybe it will be Liliana Dreadhorde General, or maybe it will be the big baddie himself, Nicole Bolas. So with the introduction out of the bag now, let's get into the box. So we're going to remove the seal. Oh, there's no going back now, because we have just opened it up. We spill out the sweet, sweet box. We set aside the white cardboard for recycling. We carefully and very effortlessly, easily, let's go with the easily, oh, oh my goodness, I can't even say any words. So we're just going to go with hand gestures from now on through the rest of the video. No, we can't do that. It's just not going to work. All right, now with the tissue paper gone, let's see with what ease we can open up this box. We've had some easy time with it, and we've had some tough time with it. And this one looks like it's going to be one of the tough ones. Yep, this is... They sealed it on the inside. I don't know why they choose to do that. Oh... Oh, there's no chance of reusing this one now. Oh, there it is. Oh, they have it so... Oh, why is it so hard to get that out of there? Look at the damage to the box. You gotta work on this. They probably don't even do boxes like this anymore because this was from 2020. I know now they're in much smaller boxes, particularly when there's only like one to three, four or five, just a few cards. But still, it's such a nice box that just gets ruined because they just package it in such a weird way. All right, so anyways, there are our three shock lanes, and oh, you're going to be seen a little bit later. Just a little bit later. All right, now we have our shock lanes. We've got three of them in here, folks. And the artwork, like I said, it's promo artwork, and each of the artwork depicts a different plane in magic. And you can only find those in this Secret Layer Drop series. They're not in any other sets. Like, you're not going to find this artwork in Return to Ravnica or the original Ravnica or Ravnica Allegiance or Guilds of Ravnica or even the Infinity Print, the Unfinity Printings. It's just here in the Secret Layer Drop. And that's all. So, this is our Blood Crypt. This is Innistrad, as you can tell by that unbelievable portrayal of Markov in the background. Oh, look at that. So awesome. It's just so sweet. So that's our Blood Crypt. And behind that, we're going to have our Stomping Ground. Now, the Stomping Ground, if you can see the artwork there, we've got some dragons in the background. Not so much of the cons of this artwork, but we're definitely on Tarkir. You can see the dragons. You can see the kind of... 
almost like stalactite or stalagmite landscape looking pretty treacherous. It could only be Tarkir, folks. You've seen it in the artwork before, and we're seeing it again here. So we've got Innistrad, we have Tarkir, and now we have the Overgrown Tomb. And here the Overgrown Tomb... We are going to the conspiracy plane, and I do not remember which plane that took place on. Bad MTG burgeoning. We had two sets of it there. You should remember that plane, and I do not. So wherever conspiracy and conspiracy 2 took place, that is the plane depicted in the artwork here. And the flavor text of Queen Marchesa cinches the fact that this is, in fact, from the Conspiracy sets. And I just don't remember the name of that world, but that statue of Brago looks pretty sweet. Wow, what great artwork. The only way they could have done it any better is if they were full art, but I sense that may have commanded a much higher price tag that might have sent the overall cost well north of a couple hundred dollars, and that wasn't even close to what I secured these secret layers for, so maybe it's better off just having the artwork just the way they are. All right, we're three shock lands in. Those are our Jund shock lands, and that means we've only got one card left. It is our secret card. It is our planeswalker from War of the Spark, and we just, well, it did not want to come loose there, did it? All right, we don't know who it is. We just know it's from War of the Spark. We know it's foil, and we know it is in the stained glass treatment. Now, this one's not too terribly curled. We've seen some beauties during this series, and this one, this one is a lot better than some of the others, so we're not going to complain about that. All right, come on, let's get something good here. It's everything is good, of course. I'm just trying to be selfish and greedy, and I really shouldn't be. We'll take with we'll take whatever we get with arms wide open. All right, Magic Gods, give it to us. It is Veraska Swarm's Eminence, one of the uncommon planeswalkers from War of the Spark. As the uncommon planeswalkers go, I mean, aside from Ashiok and aside from um, Narset, my go-to is actually Veraska. She is very good with her static ability, particularly if you build around it in any kind of death touch deck. I don't mind pulling this as a promo stained glass version because Veraska is strong. She's got some skills, and I do not mind building decks around her in, you know, for the kitchen table or maybe including her in any bigger commander decks where Death Touch may be a theme. Not exactly sure if there are any plans for that in the immediate future, but it's nice to know that Veraska is available if we need her. All right, there we go, MTGBC. Culture Shocks, Jund. There they are, and there she is. This is MTG Burgeoning, your channel for all things magic.